Looking forward to seeing you inside. I've been getting addicted to Wasteland 3 and then I remembered, oh shit, I have a YouTube channel. I should probably... What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about a gift that was released on Void Interactive's Twitter. It's the same one that we actually talked about in the previous video. I still don't understand why they didn't just... Like, if you are going to release it to the public anyway, just release, you know, the update for both the supporters and the public at the same time. Like, I don't see the reasoning behind that. Especially if some of these aren't actually playable updates. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. Scratch that, it's actually a close-up picture of the previous GIF. My mistake. I thought it was the same one. But I digress the subject that we're going to be talking about is what's in the gif itself for those of you that haven't seen it it's essentially void interactive showing off their ai and where they're at so yeah that's pretty much it like the only other things of note is just how they're showing off the breaching with using a c2 charge blowing open a door watching all the pieces fling everywhere and also the areas that they're in but a lot of people seem to take issue with just the ai itself and how they didn't actually like do room clearing like they just kind of like walked in took about like five steps before they actually turned around and just kind of stood there. I can't really say for sure if they were actually controlling them at this point, but from what I understand in the previous update, they had said that they could actually clear the area by themselves if there was no player present. Well, I can't really tell if there's any actual players here. Again, this is just a GIF. It's not like a full-on video, so we don't actually know the full context of how the AI actually works. So I don't want to judge it just based off of a GIF, but from what they just showed off here, it does have me kind of concerned, especially when a majority of your base is looking forward to the co-op single player. Like, I mean, I feel like if Void Interactive was actually confident about their AI, they would have been showing off a whole lot of multiplayer. They'd be showing a whole lot of the AI in single player. Like, I know they've said in the past that they don't want to spoil anything because that's their bread and butter. It's the co-op single player. But I feel like if they were more ready with that, then we probably wouldn't have delayed the beta launch four months out because it was supposed to be back in June, right? And they still haven't given us a date, which, I mean, I'm honestly thinking that this game is going to get pushed into 2021. Just judging by the coupon expired date which i believe was like october 31st or something like that i can't remember i'm referring to the coupon that was given to standard edition buyers so that they could hop into the supporter edition at a low price lucky bastards but yeah a lot of people were judging this basically saying that they've been waiting this long and this is how good the ai is and i mean i don't necessarily disagree with them because you know void interactive has been working on this game since june 2016 like it's over four years at this point right which i mean is a lot of time so i could definitely understand people's frustrations but at the same time ai is hard to do to have a good one is not an easy task but then again void interactive has had plenty of time to work on it so i don't know i've had a lot of close friends come up to me and say wow the swap for ai looks better than this I'm like oh sh a lot of my close friends were saying is there any way to get a refund and telling me that this game is doa and i'm just like I mean, I don't know about that, but sometimes it does feel like that, not gonna lie. So, I mean, the AI that's featured here, I think just looks okay. It doesn't look like anything crazy. They're just blowing a door open and just walking in. Hardly doing any, like, clearing. So, I mean, I guess we'll see. When they finally decide to release the beta and we get to see all the AI. But, uh, who knows when beta is going to be. So, what are your thoughts on the AI? I didn't really think too much of it, but I did see a whole lot of people talking about it, so I thought I'd cover it. And that's where I'm gonna end the video. If you're someone that enjoys the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, be sure to comment, share, and like the video. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my tip jar. It's at the top right on the eye icon. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.